Um, anyways, people. So, we should be good now. Um, if it dies on me again, I will be suing the company. I'm kidding. It was completely my fault because I'm a really good streamer and forget to update my OBS. Um, take two. Honestly, I didn't even know like what I was talking about when I watch whatever that random VOD was, then I'll figure out, but then for the time being, it's probably just, it was probably just nonsense, to be honest, like, towards the end, like, I didn't, I probably didn't even look at when Dale was telling me, tech support dog here to remind you to perform basic maintenance on your streaming software. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, honestly, Dale, if you didn't say anything, I probably would have just sat here, like, Hmm, I wonder why nothing's happening. Because I'm very smart. Anyways, moving on, people. So, time for me to... Uh... Yes, so we're going to do our dailies. And then I'm just going to, like, talk about random shit. As we do. Um, hello, Glory. Hi. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Literally, your tech support. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dale actually carried. Oh, three Dandelion seats. I don't, I don't even. I think I have them. Do I have them? Oh, okay, wait. So she wants specific ones. Oh my god, my phone keeps on turning off. No. Don't do this to me. Okay, we good. We good, we good. Um, I still think my mic's on. I'm gonna, like, constantly be one of those paranoid streamers that just, like, constantly check to see if this shit works because, I don't know. Knowing me, half the time it probably won't. Okay, so you know how I said Kazuo is like... Um, not gonna be used here? Well, now he is, because um, I'm lazy. All right, but... Do, do, do. I don't think I've actually been in Monster in like, ages. I literally live in Sumeru now. <laughs> Go! Scatter them. They have been scattered, Glory. Anyways, Dale, what have you been up to? What are you doing? Do, 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 do. I also will be trying to get some um, primos to try and get Yelan, but I mean, I gotta hate, I gotta hate them, so I don't know how good my luck's gonna be. It could be shit. On the topic of tech support, I guess he still has heard absolutely nothing about his cybersecurity course results. Really? Why have they not told you anything? Are you are you allowed to like annoy them and be like, hmm, what were my results, please? Like, can I just know shit? Thank you. It's been two months, bruh. No, I would literally like you. Can you not like call them and be like, what were my, what were my results? Like, I need them. Thank you. Like, be that annoying customer person that you just have to like that they have to deal with. Um, I'm going over here. Piss, you know me. Of course I've been annoying them. Oh, true, true, true. So, what have they said? Have they just been like, Hmm, sorry, your results aren't ready yet. Excuse me? Then what are you doing? Honestly, that would have been me. 
Like if it's been two months and you're like, mm, they're not ready yet. Like something's wrong. Someone's getting fired. Get him. Here you are. One with nature. Allow me. Solidify. Into the wind. Order guide you. Stabilize. Hold the line. I, yeah, I literally still need to farm shit for my Arhythm. Like, he's, he's in his flop error at the moment. Any wise people. Oh no. Hello. Goodbye. This is order. Oh my god, why are you not critting, Zhongli? Kinda rude of you, not gonna lie. I'm kidding. Anyways, oh my god, my phone turned off again. They've been ignoring you. What the hell? I would just keep calling them and be like, mm, send hate mail. That's a good idea. Do 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 Um, yeah, what was I going to say? I was going to say something, but I forgot. No. Okay, <laughs> we're swapping out El Haytham. I'm sorry, but you got to go. Um, we're going to wait until you're really cracked and like overpowered and can like fuck shit up and then it'll be good. Um, hold on. Oh wait, I remember what I was talking about. So yeah, I was trying to like fix up- I got like a container and shit. I was trying to fix up my shelves, fix up my room, rearrange shit. You know, the usual. Um, and then... I don't know, it's still... Okay, we're talking about my room at the moment. It looks a bit interesting. Um, but yeah, it's it's a work in progress. It, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Um, I also was going to talk about the fact that I am still going to be continuing streaming my Stray series that I said I was going to continue and be consistent with. What a funny joke that is. Anyway, um, and my Ghostwire series, because I really do love both of those games, but like for some reason... I didn't want to play them because I wanted to wait until I had the motivation to try and stream and do shit. So that's what's happening. Um, what else? Okay, let's continue with these dailies and then it'll come to me, like what I was going to talk about. Um, also I just realized that I'm AR55 and most of my characters are kind of built like shit, not gonna lie. Um, except, Zo except like Zhongli. Zhongli is pretty cracked at the moment. Although, I say that, I get, I think his highest crit is only 22, 22k damage, which is like, mm, I mean, it gets, the, it gets the job done, but then it's not really as satisfying, you know? <laughs> And obviously we've got my Klee. Do-do-do-do-do. 
my Kokomi could use some changes to her kit, but I mean, I'm trying to just make her a support. I don't really want her to do damage. Like, Hydro effects, yeah, but not really do the damage, you know what I mean? Um, why is my Zhongli shy and not Ewing his crit? That's the real question. Get him. Okay, people. Let's do this last commission over here. Oh. And then maybe I'll do a little bit of the um sumo thing. Unless you guys don't want me to. Like, do you like Dale, do you really mind if I like if I do some of the sumo stuff? Because I don't know. Do you do you actually still play Genshin or do you not really it's not really an interest at the moment? Um, wait, over here. Do, 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 do. Mm. <gasps> Another thing I was going to talk about is that I'm actually looking for a different job because, like, my current one is just not being consistent at all with giving me anything. So, that's what's happening with that as well. So, yeah. I've got some shit that I need to sort out. But I mean, it's fine. Oh, an Eye of the Storm to kill. How fun. This is order. Yes! Okay, there we go. I mean, that wasn't really- that was a crit, it was like 16k, but then his highest has been like at least 22. So that's a thing. Um, let me fix- Does Mantis wine taste the same as I remember? But where are those mm -mm 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 who share memory? Mm -mm 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 I hope my stream's like pretty clear at the moment. Like I don't really know how it sounds. Um okay, let's go claim all our daily things. Um and then we're gonna fix up some we're going to continue with some of the story because I want to do that. Oh, I also got the Lisa outfit. I don't know if I said that, but I got this outfit. Um, I don't really play Lisa. She's really not in any of my teams. I haven't built her. I just got it just because it's like a free skin. So I'm like, sure. And also the primos that I wanted. So that's always good. Sounds all good on this end. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I'm finally doing something correct in this in the in the in the yes in the world of streaming I have done good because I do I do really really enjoy streaming so I do want to continue it um 
I want to constantly try and improve the quality of my streams, what I can try and do to do whatever, but also just do it, honestly. I don't really know, I can't really word it in a way where it just is supposed to make sense to anyone else. I've kind of just been the person that just does things on instinct, if that makes any sense. I really don't know if I'm making sense half the time. But I mean, it is my stream, so. Um, okay. Catherine. Thank you for completing today's. Add Astra. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh. Rebooting. Oh, I thought there was something else that I had to claim. Anyways, let's do a pull for Yelan and see if we get anything. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 nothing, because I'm at like probably 12 pity. Well, anyways, um, let's look at these. I can continue this. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Um, so the bit that I'm up to is um, where we've done the whole thing where we've saved like Sumeru City from the like, thing, yeah, hold on, I'm trying to, I literally did this, like, two, I think it was like two weeks ago, um, but yeah, we met the doctor, we did all that type of stuff, all those scenes, um, the wanderer, all that type of stuff, fought him, killed him, won, slayed, and then here we are. Serious suggestions, please. I'm not trying to write a thriller here. It's supposed to be an essay, you understand? An essay. That means facts and logic. What's not really speaking to me is his mustache. That's not really facts and logic. I'm kidding. Well, if it's facts and logic you're after, you shot yourself in the foot with your choice of research topic, didn't you? That's a Taurus Suna mystery. When so much remains unexplained, there's little to be objective about. Unless, of course, you restrict yourself to textual criticism. Mm, 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 yeah, mm. well, uh, this is my teacher's area of research. I can't change that. But it's fascinating enough without having to sensationalize it, don't you think? The strange location, uh, the missing details, a mysterious person... Ooh. I want to write my essay on something interesting, and I'm interested in getting to the bottom of all this. That's the only reason I came to you. Also, um, that was when Nahida told us all about the idea that, like, about, the, like, our sister and stuff. So it's, like, the whole thing where we are supposed, like, we are different from our sister. So she thinks that we are separated from our sister in a way where... The, it's like some to do with like the timeline that she follows like she's been pretty much here the whole time and then we are from somewhere else it's like a we it's like a weird thing that she's come up with yeah, i think that's just me. the so idea that i took from that to take my advice. The fact like my interpretation the dramatization that will make people want to read it there's no getting around that i also completed a bunch of story quests so i've done um do, do, do. I forget names. Holy shit. I literally... Bro. Uh, okay, but... I call myself a Genshin player, yet I literally forget half the people's names. Did one of them just mention Tatara Suna? But that's a oh, yeah. name of Is it just Paimon or is it kind of unusual for someone in Sumeru to want to write a paper about that? Ugh. <sighs> Everyone here is just going about their business. Maybe it really is just Paimon. Guess people here are free to research pretty much anything. Still, let's right, go listen. Let's go find mm -hmm. out what this Tatara Suna mystery is all about. Okay, let's go. 
Do 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 do. All right, I guess I'll go with my textual criticism and your editorial direction for the first draft. I have a feeling that the missing Kabuki Mono will end up being the main focus of this paper. Ugh, if only we knew where to find that traveler. From what they say about him, this seems like the kind of thing he'd know about. Looking for me? Oh, you're the traveler, you say? Hmm. Hey, what's with that face? Don't believe us? No, no, of course I believe you. Actually, I first heard about your great exploits when I was still in Inazuma. This is my first time coming face to face with you and your mysterious silver-haired companion. I couldn't believe my luck, and out of force of habit, I started... Uh... examining the evidence. Sorry. Oh, so what, for the love of... <laughs> Sorry, we don't get out much, so our social skills are kind of lacking. Same. Uh, Traveler, I hear you've helped many people a great deal and been to many places. Would you be able to tell us about Tatarasuna? Actually, we don't know much about that place either. In fact, we only... Ah, uh, I see. My teacher chose this area of research as a personal challenge. He said it's difficult to get into because even Inazumans don't know much about Tatarasuna's past. But who'd have thought that... Uh... If you don't mind, I'd love to show you all my outline for the book I'm writing about Tatara Suna. Oh, uh, hold on, Sawada. Don't you think that's a bit of a deep dive for a first read? Well, fair point. In that case, please ease yourselves in gently by taking a look at Akaba's latest essay draft. Let me give you some background. This all started with the discovery of some records in Tatara Suna. The writings mentioned someone by the name of Mikoshi Nagamasa, who crafted a fine blade, but in the end, he threw it into a fire to destroy it and killed his servant Katsuragi. Why? Well, no one knows. Hmm. Apart from the sword maker, his servant, and the one who wrote this all down, the records also mention a kabuki mono. This seems to be an Inazuman word for an exception. That's right. Akaba's teacher has spent quite some. So first this strange person goes missing, then a murder happens. Oh. Mm, seems kind of fishy to Paimon. The murder. Yes, my thoughts exactly. Stop shouting! This part's important. I just wanted to make it stand out. It just so happens that a friend of mine works at the government records office. Even back then, Tatara Suna was already at the center of Inazuma's smelting industry. Wait, so there are two missing people in the story now? That's right! What's more, Niwa is a name with a lot of history to it. Have you ever heard of the great swordsmith clans of Inazuma? Oh, mm -hmm. the swordsmiths? Yeah, um, like Ishin art and so on? Wow, yes, you really know your stuff. Kazuo. So basically, this Niwa was a distant relative of the Kaidahara clan, <laughs> the last practitioners of Ishin art. Something then seems to have happened in the Kaidahara. The Kaidahara clan. Sawada, you left out the biggest detail. Of oh yes, of course. How could I forget? Brace your minds, ladies and gentlemen. Get to the point. For According to information acquired by Akaba's teacher, the Kabuki Mono was not a human, but a puppet. A shogun puppet, blah, 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 that's what I was thinking about. Oh dear. Aha! Judging by the looks on your faces, you- Uh, <laughs> uh, no! Paimon just meant, uh... I agree, it does, but- Ooh, okay, I'm in, blah, blah, blah. He spied laborers walking along the mountain roads towards the factories, their shoes scuffing along the jutting stones. They walked like people convinced that they're so long. <laughs> um, anyways, people. Oh, and please read my essay draft as well. 
Sawada was encouraging. <laughs> Me just completely discarding it. <laughs> but I think the essay should be grounded in facts. Oh, how about if I plug the holes in Sawada's narrative with pol- Wait, you're allowed to just make stuff up? Pretty sure you've gone from essay to guessay there. Slay, Paimon. Slay. Akaba, look. You're besides, if there really was a political power struggle going on at anything like the level you seem to be suggesting, <laughs> Duck has food now. <gasps> nice. Finding out the uh, good point. Okay. What do you What do you have? That's the question. Board, I guess. Uh, give me some time. I need to find a new angle on this. We have some other stuff to do, so we'll have to say goodbye for now. Good luck with your essay. All right. Thank you. If you find out any more info about all this, please do let me know. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Homemade pickled onions. Ooh. Sounds pretty good, actually. Jack. Hello. Welcome to um my amazing scuffed streams. Because, you know, the first one already failed. Because... I forgot to update my OBS. President. Okay. Um, at the moment, I'm doing Sumeru quests. Because, why not? And then we're going to move on to um, Valorant at some point. It definitely has something to do with the Balladia. Yes, Paimon. Excuse me, what the actual fuck? <gasps> oh, hmm. The figure that we probably did see was... I want to say it was probably Nihiro, but like, honestly, at this point, it's Genshin, so... Oh yeah, about the Cyber Shuri course, yeah. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who You know, I literally like as I said before, I think you should just harass them. Nahida, I know it was you. You trolling. <laughs> Sure enough, you're here. Oh, so it actually was him. Well, anyways. Hey, what are you doing in the sanctuary of Surasana? Aren't you supposed to be locked up? I know you must have a lot of questions. Please, allow me to explain. It was my idea to set the Balladeer free. We made a deal, and he's going to do some investigation in Ermansoul for me. A deal? <laughs> what did you expect? Why do you think Sumeru would keep me around otherwise? Or maybe killing me is all you can think about. Okay, my boy. But if that's the case, I'm kidding. Why haven't you done it already? <laughs> Shh. Don't flatter yourself. It was. Nahida said there's still some mysteries in you to figure out. Ah, so if it were up to you, you'd finish the job? Guess I had you all wrong. There I was thinking you were just getting cold feet. No. Mm, well, that escalated quickly. Not a good start. Could I ask you all to please calm down? But 
Paimon's worried about you, Nikita. Don't let him trick you. <laughs> it's not every day you see people questioning the God of Wisdom's judgment. Just when you think you've seen it all. Oh my god. Honestly, he's kind of annoying. Don't you dare try to drive a wedge between us! As long as the terms are reasonable, I don't think there's a problem in making a deal. Even with the balladeer. <laughs> don't lecture me don't lecture me with your stupid hat cape. <laughs> Not for real though. <laughs> well, I for one have no reason to doubt you. Considering you even struck a deal with a doctor. Mm, how the fuck did he know about that? He was not there. Yes, one in which I gained valuable information. You'll come oh, I mean, Nikita would have just told him about it, but anyway. Mm. Time. The Paladier's power was all but completely spent after your battle. He's no longer strong enough to be a strategic threat to us. No. That puts him in quite a precarious position. Holy shit, the doctor from the hit game de Badella? Yeah, no, he's here. The sensitive secrets. Being stuck here in Sumeru could He's kind of an asshole. Depending on how the Fatui plan to respond. Wait a second. Farmer? You mean he's not a harbinger anymore? I take no pleasure in saying this, but it's shocking it's revelation. <laughs> oh, good one. Sometimes it's you using them, other times it's them using you. Most human relationships are this way. Certainly, all the stable ones are. That's how it was between me and the Fatui, and also between each of the Harbingers. Yeah, they're all assholes. So as long as you I'm kidding. Value to offer, nobody will ever abandon you. I mean, but after recent events, yeah, no, they're all assholes. Even, even child. But I'm not worth quite what I used to be. <laughs> well, if the Fatui are going to reevaluate <laughs> my utility, I need to have a backup plan for myself. Also on DVD, I was wrong. There's four Resi killers. Oh my god. I haven't played Dead by Dale in ages. Maybe I maybe I should get back to that. I don't know. All I know is I probably won't get back to um like Overwatch. That's just not happening. But seriously, why the fuck? What it, what in the fuck is your hat a cape? I don't know why, but uh I mean Hmm. <gasps> oh my god. It'd be so cool if he like threw it. Like if he like threw his hat at people. <laughs> Although this isn't Mortal Kombat. As we discussed, I don't like causing harm to living beings, and you said you need protection. So why not join forces with us? I think these two have made their objection to that idea fairly clear, don't you? And they're your friends. So I guess you'll be siding with them. Then let's put that discussion to the side for now. Today can be a trial run. Where we go from here will depend on how well we manage to cooperate today. All right. Mm. Then I'll do what we agreed. Good. Go now and keep in touch. Nihita, are you... Uh, are you serious about this? Yes. I have my reasons for this decision. In fact, I'm largely doing it for your benefit. Why? Yes. As I told you once before, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's information this. about your twin in Ermansoul. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's the whole reason we came to see you today. So, you have an update on that? Mm hmm. You may remember me mentioning that the Fatui had not included your twin's details in the Descender category. Oh, <gasps> yes, Descender. It's so. Extremely important. Mm -hmm. Okay, I remember now. So, she was basically making the point how. The, tw the like the twin sister is not one of the descenders, so that she's so m which meaning she's technically been there the entire time. But also, I don't. It's such a weird, like, complicated thing. I think I need more information in order to like put it all together. But basically, Nahida's classifying the traveler as a descender and not the sister. So that means it's like something to do with the sister in terms of I know. Maybe it's maybe it has a play in why she's evil or why she's doing what she's doing and shit. I have no idea. It's possible that the 
Chewie have other information that even I don't know about. And since the Balladeer used to be one of them, he'll be better acquainted with this information than I am. He was granted the power to connect with Soul when he almost became the god of a new era. Even though he no longer has the Gnosis, some traces of its power remain in him. He can still connect. The amount of information in Ermansoul is vast beyond description. Sifting through all of it without knowing what to look for would take too long, even for me. So I asked the Balladeer to search in Ermansoul for any information about the Descenders. He's more familiar with this kind of information, and should be able to find it more quickly. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like he might actually lie to her. Exactly. Or what if you Prima just doesn't trust him? He's treated us as enemies every time we've run into him. Oh, oh wait, there's isn't there like a um wait, Jack, isn't there like a new like is there any event happening in DBD at the moment? Because honestly, I didn't really look at many of them. Like, I know there was supposed to be the Lunar New Year one, but that's already, like, is that, that's already, like, done. Because I've seen, there was, like, a Meg skin or something. I'm trying to remember what it was. Also, I know that there's a really cursed Mercy skin in Overwatch at the moment. Like, in the new Battle Pass. It's supposed to be really cursed. Like, I don't know what they've done, but whoever's, like, designed her hair in that skin needs to be fired. Not that you know of. Oh, okay. I mean, wait, are they working on, like, any new killers or anything? I don't even think I've- I haven't played the game in probably, I want to say, five months, maybe even longer, because I haven't really just been interested in it. I understand. But sometimes, everything is dictated by which side you're on. They're doing a crossover with One Punch Man? Oh. Interesting. Also, um, because I'm still watching so much anime, like, so some of the animes that I have been watching recently, I don't think any of you might not know what they are, um, but they're amazing. And they're fairly new. Obviously, we've got Blue Lock. Don't know if anyone's heard of that. At the moment, I'm watching an anime called Sengoku Nightblood, which is like a, it's a very, like, it's like vampires, werewolves and shit. Um, I'm watching one, I mean, I'm, I'm re-watching for probably like the third time, Skate the, Inf Skate the Infinity. Um, obviously, we've got My Academia. That's still getting new episodes and shit. I've been on top of that, watching those, doing all that. Um, the same with Demon School Irmakin with season three. Um, and I'm I'm watching an anime called Tomai Chan is a Girl. There's also one called Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall World Shall Rule the World. That is really good so far. The new episodes of Bow Fury. There's a singing anime called Unite Up. That's to do with like idols and stuff. Um. Play It Cool Guys, that's actually a really good anime too. This one called Technoroid of Mind. Um, I'm watching just a bunch of them, honestly. Like, I haven't actually seen Chainsaw Man. That's supposed to be really freaking good, but I have not seen any of that. Um, I still need to finish off um, Bongo Stray Dogs as well. Bruh, I could make a whole like freaking PowerPoint thing about this, to be honest. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I feel like they have butchered a bunch of the, um, like, new Overwatch skins. I don't know why. It's like, they just seem to not really... I, I think it's... I don't know if it's to do with the design team, but I mean, it, I think there needs to be something... They need to listen to more of the community in terms of their skin concepts. Anime tier list when? <gasps> Holy shit. Wait, I should do one of those. I should do, like, a stream where it's, like, the tier... Like the thing where they do like the tier list and they have like S tier, blah, blah. Oh, wait, I should fucking do that. Oh my God. I'm so doing that. I so need to set that up at some point. 
Yes, yes, yes. I'm so doing that. Mm hmm It's happening. Um, okay. But sometime- okay, Nahida? Bruh. My god. You know, are they just- they just butchered a bunch of those. Alright, can't wait to see that in three to five months. Shh! Shut up! I'm a really good streamer, okay? I have a really consistent schedule. Um, you know, you guys honestly have just been, like, hallucinating the entire time. That time where I said I was gonna stream next week. Like, um, like three months ago. It's actually now. I just trolled you guys, you know, like, I don't know. This is just my schedule. It's just three months apart, you know, stream every three- I'm kidding. Um, but I will fix that. Of course it's Jack with the backhanded comments. <laughs> How things will go in the future depends on what information he brings back. And Traveler, I know what your heart desires most of all. Our minds have connected several times before. There is a corner of your heart reserved for an intense longing. A feeling of being all alone in the dark, searching for the one candle whose light still burns. As Sumeru's deity, it is my responsibility to be on guard against the Balladeer. But as someone who counts you as a friend, I want to do something for you. Don't you sass me, I'm still waiting to play Resi 5. <gasps> oh, um, yeah. I just remembered that. We were supposed to play that. I, I think I literally said we were going to do that and then I forgot. Look, you know, I'm so good. I'm, I'm so good at this. I'm actually cracked. Anyways. Wait, what else was I talking about? Oh, wait, so I got um a few anime figures. So I got a Bakugo one from like this other like from a person on Facebook. That was really good. Mm -hmm. Um I got a do, 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 do. I got a Kagiyama one from Haiku. Um, that is that was so freaking good. Oh my god, it looks so good. I think I showed everyone anyway. And then I got a Nandroid. I got a Demon Slayer Nandroid from JB Hi-Fi. Those those, should, those are so freaking expensive, but like they just look so good. I kind of regret buying it, but also at the same time I don't because I don't know. It just all depends. I, I don't own the game. I don't- I haven't- I haven't bought the game yet. <laughs> I'm not even at that step yet, Jack. You think- you think me of all people would be at that step yet? Um, but also, Jack, my sister is- has been playing, um, The Last of Us. I- I- like, she- she wanted to play The Last of Us because she watched the series, um, that, like, came out. And she's like, I want to play the game. So I'm like, yes, do it. Mm -hmm, do it, do it. So she bought the second one as well. So she bought part two. Um, but she's currently finishing off part, like, the part one. But yeah. Your streamer, ladies and gentlemen. Shh. As I said, I'm a really good streamer. Alright, where's she at in the game? Um, I have no clue, honestly. Like... I think she got up to, I don't know, she, she actually got a little, she got a little bit further ahead than I was when I, when I streamed it. So she's just a little bit f further ahead. Attached to Joel, is she? I will, I will ask these questions and I will give you responses. Like, um, I will message you some responses to see what she says. Someone who counts you as a friend. If this deal with the Balladeer can give you the answers you've been longing to find, then it's worth it. It's my pleasure, really. You're Sumeru's hero. You've more than earned it. Hmm. I'm still worried about this idea. Is there anything we can do to help? I was going to contact you about that, but then you suddenly showed up on your own accord. It seems like we have a telepathic connection. In fact, 
I was going to ask you to supervise the balladeer on my behalf while he carries out the task I assigned. Even though he only has a fraction of his full power left, that's still a fraction of a former harbinger. If you could accompany him, it would put my mind at ease. Of course, I'll be there to help guide you through Soul from the outside. <gasps> yes! Great. Okay, let's Thank go. You. Prepare yourself. Soul, here we I'm come. I'm going to transport you into Soul. Do 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 do. Oh, I thought it'd be more dramatic. Wow, that looks pretty different here compared to last time. Yeah, last. Oh my god, that holy shit! Different. That scene with um Greater Lord uh, Rikatavata. That shit was so sad. Like holy crap. I don't know if any like I should have streamed that scene because that scene was so raw. When she disappeared, like. Fuck. And then, like, they had to, everyone had to forget about her. Like, everyone, just everyone knew, um, like, Ku like uh, Lesser Lord Kusanali, aka Nahida, as just as the Archon of Sumeru. Like, they, there was no one before her. That's what the people of Sumeru now know. That's just how they, they see it as. But the only person, which is interesting, the only person who was able to remember it. Paimon doesn't even remember. Paimon doesn't even remember anything. She doesn't remember anything from it. The only person who remembers is the Traveler. There were, there actually, there were moments in like some of the actual clips. I, this is when I should have streamed this shit because now it doesn't flow and then it seems weird and then it doesn't look good. But anyway, um, so those, there were certain like snippets of scenes where he was actually going to tell her because there was a scene where she had a really confused, like, dazed look on her face. And then she was like, she couldn't remember something. And then there was like something, she kind of just brushed it off. And then Traveler was going to like try and remind her of Greater Lord, Greater Lord Rukadavata. But no, he didn't say anything. And then we moved on. But that scene, holy shit, I loved it. I should have recorded it. Should have ended TikTok. It was so good. Um, okay, so let's go up to here. Hello, Hatman. Look at that. Hot on my heels. You know, you didn't have to cut your catch up short just to keep me company. Oh, but I guess you panicked when you realized that I might enter Ermin's soul ahead of you. Hmm. Fun fact, since Greater Lord Rikadavata is gone, certain books have been edited to longer, no longer reference her, and the Statues of Seven no longer whisper. Bro, it's so sad, what the fuck? I'll be like two seconds, guys. Anyways, people, I have returned. Um, so, you know, like she gone gone, bruh. I mean, I really hoped in some of the scenes that um, the traveler was going to try and remind her, but he never ended up doing it. Oh, Greta. Okay, so yeah, the previous god of Sumeru. That's who Greater Lord Rukadavata is. Um, but yeah. I know I should have streamed it because it would have made a lot more sense and it would have flowed and then I would have had the next like this stream where it would have continued from that bro I, I wish I had motivation beforehand like I wish I actually my brain said no because I would go to stream and then my brain would be like mm, mm, no I'm okay but anyways here we are now 
Um, so yeah. Nahida, Nahida sent Nahida sent me to babysit you. Shut your big jailbird. <laughs> what? I understand that. I love Paimon. She's iconic. Harassment from the guards. But right Mood. Now, I'm on temporary release, so maybe you should think about backing off a little. Mm, I'm okay. You're actually not that intimidating. Sounds like a successful rendezvous. I need to be quite clear about something. In a few moments, you'll be entering into the innermost region of Ermensoul. It is an environment like no other, and the most important place in all of Sumeru. Unlike anywhere else, Ermensoul's inner region consists exclusively of torrents of information. You must put aside your differences and be extremely careful as you navigate your way through. I know there are many grievances between you, on both sides, but it is essential that you remain calm after entry. This is as much for your own safety as anything else. Um, anyways. Understood. Fine. Let's call it truce. But only until this mission's over. Let's cut each other a little slack, shall we? We are going to be traveling together after all. Per my agreement with Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'll be at the front. It's my job to lead the way and get rid of any obstacles in our path. All you have to do is keep your pretty eyes open and try not to fall behind. <laughs> you sure are confident. Time on will give you that. You make it sound like you're even more experienced at adventuring than us. Oh, you know, I no saw that. I saw that, Jack, on Twitter. Like, that was crazy. The fact that you got all of those achievements. Like, holy shit, congratulations. Honestly, if any if anyone was actually gonna be able to do that, it would have been it it would it would be Jack anyway. Or did you need some time to mentally prepare yourselves? Oh, I always do. Need time to mentally prepare myself. It's unbearable. Me currently eating on stream. As you do. We can start now. Ermansol access grid. Initiating connection procedure. Is this a small sapling? <gasps> oh. Look! Darn it! Come on, let's catch up with him! Do 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 do. Speaking of eating, Doug needs more food, BRB. So this <laughs> Mood. is the inside of Ermansoul. It actually is different from what I imagined. I imagined it to be very like Paimon's never seen anything like Holy it. shit, that's cool though. And it feels like a sacred place. Ermansoul is closely intertwined with the entirety of Tavat. Every bit of information flowing here means something. Pick your jaws up off the floor. It's time to go. Why is it that Paimon just wants to do the opposite of everything he says? <sighs> I'm... Lesser Lord Kusanali, we will now proceed to the heart of Ermansoul. Can you still sense where the heart of Ermansoul is? Yes. Permission to begin searching for information there? Permission granted. Go ahead. Let's go. Stay close. Don't go running off. Go running off in here. What would happen? <laughs> what, what are you smirking at? I was just imagining the look on your travel companion's face if you went and got lost. Anything's possible in here. You can't rule anything out. 
So if you want to stay safe, your best option is to stick close to me. <laughs> okay, let's go. He's so dramatic. <gasps> Ooh. What the? Those are all packets of information from inside Ermansol. Be careful not to touch them. <laughs> it looks the same in every direction. Do 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 do. Mentioned about getting lost. Huh. What do you know? He was actually telling the truth. <laughs> Him not lying for once. Me again? Uh, what is it this time? There's a time and a place to lie, but this definitely isn't it. So why don't you relax your guard a little? No. <laughs> We're here. What a huge tree! For real. <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali. Good, you made it. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Then please begin. Preparing to access cognitive currents. Establishing waypoint. The Balladeer is actually doing what Nahida tells him. Guess he must want to stay alive. <laughs> Hmm. The rest is up to you. He is a very strange individual, if you though. Anything at all, make sure to share it with us. We'll do. Huh? For once, we're the ones with nothing to do. Traveler, Paimon, would you like to talk? Yes, I've also invited Paimon to join. I? What the? <laughs> of course, Paimon was going to be confused. I mean, it is Paimon. <laughs> That's part of it. Plus, we're all friends. There's nothing wrong with us talking like this once in a while. Paimon's never tried this before. This is great! So, Paimon's been wanting to ask you something. Don't you think the Balladeer's a bit of a walking contradiction? He's always talking back, but he seems to listen to what you say. As I've told you before, there are still some mysteries for him to resolve. Things that are clear as day to me, but that he has yet to understand. Perhaps today will be the day that he finds some answers. Hmm, I get it. Well done. Smart and attentive as always. Oh yeah, I remember that. The fact what he was talking about so, at Paris to Hine. Contact with that part of his mind. Well, it's true. Betrayal turned the Paladier into the person he is today. Huh. Paimon thought nothing could get under that guy's skin. Turns out. He can get hurt and angry just like anyone else. Everyone has a history, Paimon. Even if you're a puppet created by the Electro Archon. Speaking of puppets, we ran into two people at the Academia today talking about an essay. Turns out their topic was about the Tatara Suna incident. Nahida, do you know anything about that? If you mean the mysterious events, the Kabuki Mono and so on, yes. I know about all of that. Really? Because from what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatara Suna's history is still unexplained. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. 
At least that's what they got. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Those are the two guys that, um, they tried to show- they showed me, like, his essays, and I literally just skipped them. <laughs> so the guessay. <laughs> Must be a riveting conversation you three are having. Funny how all the good ones happen when I'm not involved. Uh, what makes you think we're talking to each other? <laughs> Don't insult me. You're having a private conversation without me. Obviously, I must be the topic of said conversation. Of course you do. You can't have your prisoner knowing too much. So, uh, have you found anything yet? Still looking. Don't get your hopes up, though. You and your twin come from outside this world. It wouldn't surprise me if there was nothing on either of you in Ermensoul at all. Wait, how did you know about that? Didn't Ahita tell you? It's not like we've never met before. And anyway, you're world famous. It'd be more surprising if I didn't know a few things about you. Right now, we have to keep the peace. I'm not interested in creating more misery for myself. And making cordial conversation is something I can manage. Huh? Wait. This light. It looks similar to those saplings. What could it be? Anonymous data. Hey, don't you forget the agreement. You have to share it with us. <laughs> For real though, Just Jack. Right. He's like, hmm, you're having a conversation Mr. without Mima, me? Are you I wonder why. This is worth the risk. We are talking about Tatara soon as furnace, after all. It may not pay to act rashly. There's no one else who can enter the furnace. It has to be me. Is that so? Well, since you insist. <sighs> it's... <gasps> oh my god. That name... My god. We're getting pulled in. I have been in Tatara Suna for some time now. You have shown me great hospitality, as has Mikoshi Nagamasa, and indeed, everyone else. Under your leadership, Tatara Suna is a warm, welcoming place, like a giant village. People are gainfully employed, their lives have purpose, they are motivated. As I understand, the Raiden Shogun has Same, recently actually. eliminated much of the evil that plagued Inazuma. As for Tatara Suna, oh my god, it it's annoying me. Wait. As a means of safely disposing Crystal Marrow. The forging industry with Crystal Marrow as a raw material has since flourished, giving rise to generations of swordsmiths. Some world renowned, others unknown. All passing on their legacy. Skills, blood, dreams. Every smith brought into this trade looks to find their purpose between steel and blade. That is why you accepted the proposal brought to you by myself and Akame. Yes, well, were it not for you coming to Inazuma and happening to make Akame's acquaintance, the two of you never would have joined forces. And he would be the first to admit that there's no way he could have revolutionized our forging process like this on his own. At least not on the same timescale. You allowed Akame to take all the credit for a method that you jointly developed. He sold it to me. Mm. And now, even now, you remain one of Tatara Suna's key consultants, working right here alongside us. Welcome back. I believe it is you, sir. Who are truly responsible for the changes in our manufacturing and forging methods. You flatter me. From the outset, I saw much that was commendable in the forging industry of Inazuma. And it has been my great honor to befriend you all. So you say, Escher. But is this really the truth? My good sir. What do you mean? My good I tried sir. I thinking it was all connected. Because I didn't want to speculate. 
Oh, okay, okay. Tell me, tell me what you find out. What have we gained from adopting your new technology? Ominous black smoke? Mounting production problems? Worker fatigue and casualties are up and continuing to rise at an alarming rate. And recently, as you well know, someone died because of that strange filth inside the furnace. We've kept the truth from spreading outside, but still... I suspect you understand it better than I do. None of the people who went out to get help have come back. Now, our mutual friend, the Kabuki Mono, is taking the Golden Feather to Narukami Island to seek an audience with Shogun. This is our last hope. But that doesn't phase you, does it, Escher? Nothing does. Otherwise, why would you still be standing there with that smile on your face? I'm just surprised that you finally chose to be so sincere. I'm sure you've been harboring these suspicions for quite some time. <sighs> Mikoshi Nagamasa may have noticed that there was one common denominator among all these events. Namely you, Escher. But Mr. Mikoshi is more cautious than I. He does things by the book. After all, Nagamasa is the adopted son of Mikoshi Torichio. The yokai struck down by the shogun's own hand. If he truly seeks to redeem his family's honor, an abundance of caution is well advised. You're well informed on the subtleties of his situation for a mechanic all the way from Fontaine. Are you sure you're not a little overqualified? <laughs> Why, Mr. Niwa, are you suggesting I find a job as a diplomat? Sadly, I am so very attached to my craft. Enough, Escher. I'm here because an evil force is raging inside the furnace. And someone needs to take your new device inside the high-risk zone so we can absorb it and put an end to the problem. I'm in charge here. And I'm about to take some responsibility and head inside. Probably to my death. But what about you? What are you still doing here? Judging from the look in your eyes, you don't seem to trust me. Drop the axe. That was very close. We're past that now. Whoever you are, it looks like your plan to destroy Tatara Suna has worked. The drama. I just want to know what you're still doing here. What's left? Don't you have all your answers by now? Honestly, I feel like I know that name, Jack. Right hmm. What other stuff is he in? <gasps> um, chow. Like this. Where you finish talking and I stop you from entering the furnace. <sighs> you. You. Bruh. <sighs> You're a little smarter than I initially gave you credit for. I thought you I could myself exceptionally well, at least for the first few days. But to my surprise, you had your people look into my background right from the start. It's a long journey from Inazuma to Fontaine, but that didn't stop them. <gasps> Bro, I'm so excited for Fontaine. That's just going to be so good. Escher was an alias, and that I was not from Fontaine at all. And yet, despite all of that, you still fail to realize my true identity and what I seek in Tatara Suna. Did you really think you would be able there to was no fall There was no plan. falling time on that camera. It was just a smash cut to the floor. <laughs> Not for real, though. Kill me. There's no one who can get inside the furnace. So you're really going to destroy this place? Is that it? Oh, but you're quite wrong. There is one other person. Mm, some may not see him as a person, but you told him yourself. You're not a puppet. You're a human. You're just missing a heart. <gasps> Whoever you're working for won't get away with this. They'll be found out. But... This makes no sense. What are you really trying to accomplish by all this? <laughs> no, for real. Like, what the... Like what it just seems all over the place. It's no trouble at all. Patience is a virtue which I have in abundance. This is all part of a carefully controlled experiment. If you must know, I'm happy to divulge my true identity. I'm a Fatou. <gasps> 
call me the doctor. I know I fucking recognize his voice. That's just the doctor. He just that's just what he looks like. What do you want? Just to create a Oh, I know. I forgot. For he name. possesses he like has copies of people that's or some shit. Like isn't that how he works? That's why you. Hmm, wait, I don't know. Cursed technology. Unless that actually is him. Let loose the evil energy from the crystal marrow. Cuz in the thing, I'm pretty, he's supposed to have, like, copies of himself. But then, Nahida actually killed them all. My device functions precisely as you say. It is the only chance you have of I thought I recognized that voice. ...and keeping the truth from the outside world. However, I did not make it with you in mind. It is easier for a person to be possessed by evil spirits when they are filled with hate. So give in to your fury. I want to see what happens when a malevolent heart is placed into an unsuspecting puppet. Make no mistake, even without you, that pure, innocent puppet would only end up being used by someone else instead. What other reason would a human have for befriending one who is not of our kind? <coughs> if you give him my heart, tell him that both Nagamasa and I see him as one of us. He has nothing. To prove to anyone. The Fatui don't really believe in subtlety. Because not everyone just wants to use other people. The only ones who think like that are people like you. The drama. Oh my god, the way he fell. way to see the world. It almost makes me feel a little guilty. Hmm. This is like then James James Bond you, <laughs> levels of villain monologue. <laughs> Think of me as a monster or a demon, if you wish. Oh my god, it's the Doctor's At origin. This is Doctor's villain, like villain, villain origin story. Target. You simply lost to something more powerful than you could ever hope to defeat. I say, Mr. Niwa, let's see what happens. Will your puppet friend become a human? No, that will prove quite impossible. Mr. Niwa. Already dead. What a pity. <sighs> Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. Creating a gap and infiltrating Azuma's inner workings. Mm. <laughs> what fun it was. I'd like to introduce a puppet to you. If he proves useful, let's make him our newest comrade. And if not, let's turn him to dust. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, hat guy. What do you have to say? Are you alright? Dottore. <gasps> <laughs> the Tore. Um, Slay. Someone needs therapy. Oh my god, did it just. It just like cut out the last to Tore. Good. Good. Oh no, it's gone Where's full that? shit, bro. The doctor? Did he turn into a mechanic from Fontaine? Oh my god. things from his perspective when I touched the doctor to confirm whether he'd eliminated all his segments I read this memory in his mind you have to admit it must be the truth maybe so but it means nothing does it but this memory shows that Niwa didn't betray you he never meant for you to be the one to take the device into the furnace you know very well what that means. Even more so than I. Hmm. Let's give
give him some space. He looks really mad. Paimon doesn't want to be anywhere near him right now. We need to give him some time to process his emotions. Paimon's still confused about the Tatarasuna incident. So, the doctor was behind it, but why has that gotten him so worked up? Nobody has ever deceived you like that, Paimon. It's natural that you find it difficult to understand. Perhaps you needed to learn this someday. So now you have the complete picture. Katsuragi took the Kabuki Mono to live with the people of Tatarasuna. Later, the doctor showed up disguised as the mechanic from Fontaine. And that's when the trouble began. It was all a horrific experiment planned by the doctor. Everything he did was just to plant seeds of disaster in Inazuma that would bear fruit in the future. Of all the unwitting participants in the doctor's experiment, the balladeer became the main test subject. After the events Bruh. you saw in that memory, the doctor put Nua's heart into the device and handed it to the balladeer. Then he instructed him to enter the furnace and absorb all the filth caused by the smelting process. The load was far beyond what he expected, but the balladeer survived. He left the furnace in sheer exhaustion and said to the mechanic, This device seems to have protected me. What's in it? The mechanic answered, Niwa fled this place for fear of punishment, but he left you a gift. He said it's the one thing that you've been looking for. He took it straight from the chest of one of his innocent servants. The mechanic removed the withered heart from the device as he spoke. The balladeer was stunned that such unthinkable cruelty had brought him the thing he'd been longing for his entire life. A heart acquired through cold-blooded murder is a cursed thing, but it had protected him from the filth. He thought Niwa had completely betrayed him, and yet this very betrayal had ensured his survival. Overwhelmed with anger and sorrow, the balladeer threw the heart to the ground and left Tatarasuna without looking back. Holy moly. So the doctor killed an innocent man and pinned Holy shit. on the victim? That's, That's fucked up. <laughs> yes. Only if he understands this can he choose a new path forward. Bro. Tatori, you brazen faced. <clears throat> Niwa didn't run from justice. You killed him. I like how my task is just wait a while. <laughs> oh, there we go. A while later. <laughs> Expression. Bruh. Are you worried about me? If we didn't have such a history, I'd almost think that qualifies me to be your friend. It won't. I'll keep my end of the deal. Hmm. Hey, are you investigating the stuff we want to know about? That's why we're here. But unfortunately, there's no information about the Descenders in Ermansoul. Even if you can't find anything, that seems to confirm it. Ermansoul does not keep records on the Descenders. Anyone who comes from beyond this world is not counted as part of Tavat. Hmm. Does that mean we have to leave empty-handed? Don't thank me just yet. Hmm, you look really upset. <laughs> well... Since Ermin's soul was a dead end. Huh? About what? The reason why there are records about your sister and Ermin's soul. It might have something to do with Conria. Apparently, Conria was her first destination when she arrived in this world. Plus, she only came to this world because the heavens responded to the summoning. The heavens responded? The jester told me this himself. You can take his word on this. He was a royal mage in Conria. 
That's how the jester was. Oh time. my god. I don't know the details. It's up to you whether you want to believe me. All I can say is, I wouldn't lie to you about this. Did you get all that, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Astonishing news. Does this info count towards my mission? It wasn't for Merman's soul, but was it valuable? Very valuable. Not the creepy smile. Good. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Huh? What have you done? Lesser Lord Kusanali was right. My power's all but completely spent. Even if I use all of the divine power left in me, I can't sustain this shield for very long. I shared a secret with you, and now you owe me. So in return, I'd like you to answer a question for me. Give me your hand. Oh. <laughs> Can you hear my voice inside your head? No, I can't do anything like that anymore. At most, all I can do is- Paimon being frustrated. <laughs> so tell me, in this world, is it possible to change the past? Done. Huh? What the? What happened? Paimon only saw you hold hands for a second. Nothing. I was just thanking him for helping me. <gasps> see, 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 bruh. Conria was wiped out centuries ago along with all its people and yet every third person on the street is from Conria. No, for real. They're like, mm, conria is gone. There's like only literally one person left. Like, huh? Hmm. So long. I suggest you get yourselves out of here quickly. Hmm, I think he found out. Where are you going? Hey, wait up! Didn't you say not to go running off? Fast reaction time. But I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. Goodbye. Bye, hat guy. From this day forth, the names Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Slay. Those who died in Tatarasuna because of me deserve another chance at life. You know, I never did like insects. Hordes of the puny things swarming together can be a real nuisance. And I enjoy nothing more than to stamp them out like the pests they are. Uh. But if a colony of harmless ants isn't threatening anyone, I guess they deserve to be left alone. Luckily, everything can be set right. It's time to solve this once and for all. Oh, he disappeared. Come on, we gotta find him somehow. Bruh. Okay, I'm gonna go track him down apparently. Oh, what's happening? <gasps> Cutscene. Oh, no. oh. He's really gone. Oh no, the cutscenes are much more detailed. I forgot about that. Nahida! Traveler, Paimon, Paladier. What happened just now? I was suddenly caught. It was the Balladeer's fault. He... he shut you out! Bruh. I didn't think he'd be capable of something like that with so little power left. Now Nahida is gonna have trust issues, like, for so long. That's like an MMO stories where you... like, where you, the player, are the only chosen one along with every other player. <laughs> They're like, you're special. You're the only one that can do this. And then everyone else just does it. Did he keep some of his power hidden when he was defeated? Or did he achieve something beyond his abilities and it took everything he had? Where the heck did he go? Oh, it's all our fault. We were supposed to keep an eye on him. Sorry, Nahida. Don't be. It's not your fault. 
Please, let me handle this from here. Even though I'm not sure I can solve it. We're running out of time. Follow my lead and get out of Ermansoul as soon as possible. <laughs> we're out! And we're at... Uh... An inn or something? This is an emergency. I'll have to ask you to stay here for now. Everything's arranged, and nobody will disturb you. I'm sorry, but... This isn't something I need your help with. Leave this one to me. An emergency? Nahida! How bad is it? Nahida, will you be okay? Don't worry. If my assessment is correct, though there may be some minor disturbances, it won't lead to a disaster. Please rest and recover your strength here until I say it's safe. Her voice has gone. Paimon can't shake the feeling that something really big has happened. What do you think the Balladeer meant? And why did he suddenly grab onto you before? Mm. He wants to change the past? But surely that's impossible! Is Nahida like an AI or something? Um, basically, just because she's the Archon, she and the God of Wis the Goddess of Wisdom, she is able to communicate people like through like she's she's telepathic, like she can communicate to anyone telepathically. Specifically, the Traveler because she has possessed him before, and seen inside his mind and everything, and like used his body to like talk. So, yeah, but she also has a physical form. I don't know. She does, like, everything. Right! You can't just rewrite history. All that stuff happened already in real life! It's like, um... She is brain ghost. <laughs> I'm gonna call her that from now on. about this. Paimon can't help but feel scared about what he might do. Ooh, Paimon's so confused. Bruh. Paimon. Sorry. Paimon accidentally. Oh. Oh. It's the Balladeer's fault for causing Paimon all this mental stress. But erasing yourself from history? It's unthinkable. Is that really possible in Ermansoul? Mm. Uh, I don't think that's actually a thing. Uh -oh. succeed, right? Otherwise, won't everyone who's connected to him be affected too? It will affect anyone with a connection to the Red and Shogun. Oh, There's nothing yeah. we can do about it at this point. Hey, have you got any ideas on what we should do next? Seems like now there's nothing left for us to do but to go to sleep. But... Paimon's still so worried! Paimon won't be able to sleep a wink tonight! Oh my god, they wrote that um, exposition cutscene so poorly and now I think they have the ability to write time travel good. Oh lord. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, it, it's, it, it can get a bit, like, over the top and it's just like, um... 
it, it leaves you with a lot of questions like with a lot of just what the hell just happened my go-to response is just huh mm. and then i move on and then it somehow pieces itself together later I'm on. We know you like food. Um. Um. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Paimon, what's wrong? Uh, what are we? What was Paimon supposed to be doing just now? Paimon was um talking. she was talking about what was it again you started listing foods the ballad deer is that a food too huh weird name though <gasps> um chow anyways so <laughs> he actually just said all right peace and just erased himself what's wrong wait that can then the the traveler is just going to remember everything then. So, the balladeer. Is that someone's name? Cuz it sounds like a nickname or something. Bro. Paimon, come with me. Okay, sure. Where are we going? Back to Inazuma huh? apparently. Okay, I guess we're going to Inazuma. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I think I haven't really been back to Inazuma in a while, actually. Um, except if if he had never existed, they'd never want to go to Nikita in the first place, and never been to TP here. Oh. I mean, you have a point, actually. What the hell? I love Inaz I love Inazuma, though. The whole aesthetic of Inazuma is really good. <laughs> ah! Game mechanics? Hello? Talk to Amanoa Togo? Oh yeah, this guy. Ah, it's no. Been a while. The last time I spoke to him was Kazuha's story quest, and it was so freaking good. Of course. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> now there's a question I wasn't expecting. <sighs> Very well. I'll tell you what I know once more. The once renowned Raiden Gokuden comprised of five branches. Aminoma, Futsu, Ishin, Hyakume, and Senju. The art of forging practiced by these five clans was first taught to them personally by the almighty Shogun. Over time, the five branches diverged from one another as generations of bladesmiths honed and perfected their craft until they became five distinct traditions. Most of the great swordsmith clans of old have since fallen into decline. And for a long time, only the Amenoma branch kept its heart alive. But fortunately, Kaede Harakazuha recently returned to Inazuma 
and took up the mantle of the Ishin Ark. Kazuo. Two clans remain of the original Gokuden Five. If my memory serves me right, you yourself were present when he forged the Ishin Blade. <laughs> oh yeah, we were. Paima remembers that now. We learned a bit about the decline of the Raiden Gokuden then too. It seems like such a shame. <sighs> that, my friends, is a tragic tale indeed. In fact, this was not made known to me for most of my life. All these years, I knew of those great clan's demise, but never the cause. <sighs> Only recently, when the question was on my mind, did I ask Kaidehara Kazuha about this? He told me that, as we are both heirs to a branch of the Raiden Gokuden, it was right that I should know the truth. There is no harm in telling you, but I must warn you. It is a dark and sorrowful tale. The Raiden Gokuden were the targets of a murderous rampage by a vengeful bladesmith. Well, she it. Four hundred years ago, so I'm told, there was a catastrophic malfunction in Tatarasuna's furnace. One brave swordsmith heard the commotion and chose not to flee, but he rushed to the scene, hoping to prevent a disaster. Tatarasuna was home to a state-of-the-art forging and smelting operation in that day, and overseeing it was the armory officer. His surname was Niwa. Though he had family ties to the Kaidehara clan, knowing that they had just one chance to save countless lives, Mr. Niwa and the swordsmith leaped together into the furnace. The furnace quickly stabilized, but neither of them made it out. The smith's death, though heroic, dealt a devastating blow to his family's fortunes. His orphan son was left to fend for himself and grew up deeply resentful at the world. In his heart, the whole of Inazuma was culpable in his tragedy. He hated the almighty Shogun for her apparent indifference towards his father's death, and he hated everyone who had done nothing to try and save him. Powerless and destitute, the only legacy he had to pass on to his children was his hatred. Generation after generation bore this grudge, living in utter misery. Alas, if only the story could have ended there. But 100 years ago, the then head of this family <laughs> For real though. reached the end of his wits. I was thinking the same thing, there like, huh? No not, not them just throwing yet, people in there. <laughs> he could do nothing to change it. Finally, he made a drastic decision to take revenge on the ride in Gokuden. In doing so, he sought to vent his pet up anger and shake the very foundations of Inazuma's forging industry. In his fury, he murdered indiscriminately, killing even bladesmiths from the Hyakume clan which he belonged to. His goal was absolute, the devastation of all of the Raiden Gokuden. But when he came to the Kaedehara and Kamisato clans, his killing spree came to an abrupt end. He failed to catch them unawares. They fought back, fiercely, and they did not spare his life. That is why the Kaidehara clan and their Ishin art survived that day. <sighs> I suppose they were the lucky ones, under the dire circumstances. Hmm. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? So the Balladeer was trying to s to do something in order to stop from Niwa dying, Mr. Niwa dying, dying, and then I, it didn't work out or something. And then I think maybe it's like do with something with the Balladeer felt guilty or some shit. I have no idea. I think that's what it's trying to say, but I don't know. One guy with a, with a sword killed three whole clans of bladesmiths and warriors. Yeah, not an implausible plot at all. <laughs> um, what if he's just really good, you know? 
Just, 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 just cracked. Azuha? Why, yes. Just yesterday, in fact. We spoke for a while over some tea. He seemed well. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, that makes a lot of sense, because that would have been- that would have done something to do with the Kaidahara clan, which would impact Kazuha. So it could have done something- it, would, it could have done something to change Kazuha somehow. Maybe it changed his personality, maybe it changed his outlook on certain things in, in his upbringing. Holy shit, that's like history changing shit. That's like messed up. Bruh. I don't care how good you are at numbers with inevitability. Will- I don't care how good you are, numbers will inevitably beat out skill. True. Very true. I can read. I'm so good at reading, oh my god. Anyways, um, also, that's another thing. I've actually been reading- I've been reading manga, guys. I, bit, I bought manga. I bought, like, um... So, I think- yeah, most of them are fruity. Most of them are fruity. Um, but I do have some copies, so I have, like, a uh, fairy tale haiku. Some other things as well but i'm do i'm doing somewhat of a manga collection but manga is just so freaking expensive like holy shit um <gasps> actually true very true he is a god with magic weapons not a guy with a sword <laughs> again all facts here my pleasure don't tell paimon there are other places you want to visit too right <laughs> Let's go. I think we're trying to find Kazuo. Like we're gonna try and talk to him or do something. Ooh, we're going to the Kamisato estate to speak to Ayato. I'm kidding. We're here. Um, this is the Yashiro Commission's headquarters. So, traveler, it's been a while. Hello. What damn expression, it never fucking changes. <laughs> if you're looking for the commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I'm afraid your timing is unfortunate. They're not here right now. Are they out on business? The commissioner is out on business, and Miss Kamisato is standing in for some meetings in the commissioner's place. If it's urgent, you're welcome to wait inside until they get back. What do you think? Shall we go in? If it were anyone else, I couldn't allow it. But seeing as you're so close with the commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I think it should be okay. We'll be heading in then. Thanks! Hmm. <gasps> oh, Hello. Is there something you want to say? Arias, how are you going with Ruby? Um... Yes. Um, well, I mean, I think I'm at the same point that I was before, so I think it's like... I, I haven't seen that much of it. I've been watching other things, which is really bad, but I've been trying to, like... I need to watch the stuff I'm watching now, and then I'm going to try and go back to Ruby, because... I, it's It seems like it's one of those shows that I need to just keep on getting into. But I am up to the part where... um. Like, you know, like, she lost her arm. Now she, learned how she has to relearn how to, like, do everything. Has to, has to fight with her, like, with one arm. Blah, blah. The, the stuff, you know? Yes. I'm literally... <laughs> the beginning of Volume 4. Shh. It's fine. Everything's fine. I will watch it, though, Jack. I will, I will. Because I did enjoy it. It just got, it kind of like messed with me. I had to like take a step back, be like, what the fuck just happened? Um, I'm suing the company after freaking Watsy died. So, jail. Um, now I will get, I will get back to it though. Ma'am, can I ask you a couple of questions? <laughs> of course, traveler. Yes, I know who you are. Miss Kamisato has told me about you. What would you like to know? 
Okay, I feel like the voice of this old woman is sounding more like a ghost than an elderly woman. Does anyone else get that impression? Oh, they're both very well indeed. Lately, Miss Kami Sato has been rather busy attending all kinds of meetings and occasionally... Oh, kinds of meetings. Oh, I'm sorry. ...on the commissioner's behalf. As for the commissioner himself, well, you know, busy as ever, that much hasn't changed. Although, he does seem to be in a rather good mood these days. Okay, now it sounds better. At the beginning, though, she did sound kind of like a ghost. Very much so. I told still the question, but... Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like the voice actor's really like she's she's really trying to like she's really straining the, to get the point across oh, that she's old. Any more questions? <laughs> you think that's traumatizing? Well, till you get to the that one scene in Volume Six and the entirety of Volume Eight and Nine, Bruh, I don't know if I should watch it then if I'm gonna get traumatized. Welcome. In fact, I would love nothing more than for you to come and visit more often. But I'm sure you must be far too busy to have time for that. Miss Kamisato talks about you all the time. She seems so thrilled to have you as a friend, and she's always saying how talented you are and how much she admires you. I must say, many things in Inazuma seem to have taken a turn for the better since you arrived here. So you're not just Miss Kamisato's knight in shining armor, you know. You're a hero to us all. Honestly, I would do that, um, Dale, like in terms of like doing the call and stuff. But I think we we would have to start at the point that I'm up to, because otherwise I'll be like, um, huh? This old woman is very nice though. I'm flattered. Oh, I mean it. Whenever the commissioner dines at home, Toma always joins him. I always find myself at my most relaxed when I'm serving the two of them and listening to them chat away. <laughs> How your knows what they're doing. Schedule that he doesn't always have the chance to take his meals at home, but given the opportunity, he always prefers to dine here. They say it's because Toma's a much better chef than most. <laughs> oh, the commissioner is so fond of home comforts. They get to talking about you sometimes too, you know. Always with a very fond tone. The way one would talk about dear old friends around whom one can truly be themselves. Miss Kamisato occasionally joins them as well. Whenever the whole family gets together and they start talking about people they've met and experiences they've had, you always get a mention. It's been many years now since the late Mr. and Mrs. Kamisato passed away. Much has happened in the Kamisato clan in that time. As someone who is old and grey enough to have watched their son and daughter grow up, it makes me so happy to see them meet a dependable friend whose company they enjoy so much. So, in the future, if you ever do have the time, please know you are always very welcome at the Yashiro Commission Headquarters. There will always be at least one old lady who would be delighted to have the pleasure of your company. 
Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Hyman likes it here too. Also, you were saying something about the food here being really great. Hyman's itching to try it. We may just have to invite ourselves around for dinner sometime. Uh, Hyman meant we should come pay a visit again real soon. Ideally around dinner time. <laughs> okay, Paimon. You're always welcome. Alright, goodbye for now. We're, uh... Where are we going next? Great! Goodbye, ma'am! Don't worry, we'll see ourselves out. Alright, then. Anyways. Oh, are you two leaving already? Yep! Everything's taken care of now, so... Very well. Safe travels. Do do do. Oh my god, the fact that you and this lady are standing in the middle of the pebble garden is bugging me. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'd actually, I didn't even notice. Well, <laughs> or else are they supposed to stand somewhere that makes sense? No, no, of course not. Genshin making sense, huh? Mm. Since when is that a thing? We. Hello, Xavier. Mm. Do I have company? What kind of person comes to a place like this and just spaces out? Hey, I wasn't spacing. Sure you were. Your eyes were glazed over, dude. Huh, why are you making fun of me? I told you I wasn't spacing out. I was ruminating on some problems. Technological, environmental, and so forth. This is Tatarasuna, after all. Oh, he said Tatarasuna. Oh, is there something you want to know about Tatarasuna? My name's Xavier. Yeah, okay, Xavier. Certainly. Xavier. I've researched the furnace here in some depth. If there's anything you want to know, just ask away. <gasps> Pro. Like the back of my hand. <laughs> Make no mistake, I have been here a good many times before. Not only that, but I've met people in Inazuma whose families used to live in Tatarasuna years ago. They said it's all true, the history here. Hmm? Oh, well, uh, it's a long story. I'm told that its history is one of the most foremost forging and smelting operations in the nation. Goes a couple? One was just in the last few years, the other was several hundred years ago. A fun fact, I'm not the first Fontaine tech guy to come and work on it either. There was a guy back then too. They say he was a mechanic who consulted on a technology upgrade. It seems like the- Oh my god, I'm so excited for Fontaine. That shit's gonna be so good. Hey, weren't you gonna ask Xavier something about Tatarasuna? Come on, ask already! Oh, I didn't realize you two were here for a history lesson. Me neither. Paimon, it actually does look like that, Dale. <laughs> oh my god. Like we've been preparing for a history exam or something. Hmm? What brought this on? Did you just wake up today with a sudden burning desire for historical knowledge? Pretty much. Sure, go ahead. A kabuki mono? No, I can't say that I have. I do know the word. Inazuman for those eccentric types who always go around dressed to the nines. But sadly, I've never had the pleasure. Nor have I come across anything to do with a kabuki mono where Tatara Suna is concerned. Hmm. Thank you, Sevia. mention it. Oh, we're leaving? Oh, you're most welcome. More than happy to help. Farewell. Oh, I should have listened to how Paimon said he said his name. Looks like you got all the information you're looking for. Sure, but what's up? Keep your smile, Spinal Crocodile. No matter what happens, Paimon will always be there for you. Keep your smile, Spinal Crocodile. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, don't mention it. All right, let's head off and go be the Hida. I've never even heard anyone say that before. Wow. Achievements. So 
Do, 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 do. It's not that hard to make a tiny little band of different color to indicate a hair tie. That's just lazy. <laughs> um, all valid points, honestly. I mean, it is Genshin though. Like Genshin, they try to. I, I think. No, not not no one normal would actually pick on that. I'll pick up on that though. <laughs> like anyone with a really good eye for detail would pick up on that. But most people that play Genshin don't really try to pick up on that. They'll focus on characters and the environment. Hey, it's them. Akaba, Sawada, you're still here? Oh my god. Are you still talking about the essay? Indeed we are. The guesse. <laughs> join us once more. We have time. What do you want to talk to us about? The same topic we discussed last time. Obvious. Still looking for more info about Tatara Suna, huh? Hmm. Should we? Perfect. These two have research terms passed. Let's see what they have to say. Unfortunately, we haven't made any real progress. Huh? Oh, uh... Okay, wait, so if we try and correlate this to back what he was saying, so... Strains, notes... Hmm. Oh, here we go. A great many of these rumors revolved around the Yukai, blah blah. I think that was what he was trying to say in terms of the background. Um okay. I presume you'll want to read mine as well. Here. Gotta find... Okay. Bring this... Yep, okay, so this is what we're talking about. Nero realized, re released the lizard from his hand, but it just says more words were exchanged. Someone came walking nearby, their footsteps steady and confident. Uh, oh, they were talk. Who was talking about the lizard again? Was it the... Hold on. <gasps> cracked, Jack, cracked. Contents changed. The Baladi said he had, he'd erased two of his names. If he really succeeded, it must have well, taken all this to do what it. Do you think? The masterpiece. Hey, Traveler. Remember how last time Akaba was saying how you wish you could gather more information about all this? Well, we just got back from him. What did you find out? It's a long story. Basically, we have some friends in Inazuma and... Wow, so many new details. Well, well, so it all comes down to one man's desire for revenge. Huh. <laughs> you heard this from a member of the Amanoma clan, you say? Then I guess it must be true. Ugh. So there's no ghost story here after all. This new oh, that's what they thought it was. This lends further credence to my hypothesis. Evidently, swordsmiths were seen as having an incredibly prestigious role in society those days. To the extent that harming them was conceived of, at least by the perpetrator, as a way of exacting revenge against those in power. Yes, yes, okay, point taken, you were right. Oh my god, the bird in the corner. Burb. Burb. And they're back at it. These guys are really into this. Oh, so sorry. Look at us. You're welcome. Keep us in the loop if you find out anything else. Will do. Okay, let's go. Nahida, 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 Nahida. Oh, 
Is that bird clipping to the rail? <laughs> um, uh, yes. F physics. Although it did look like that. Nahida! Nahida, we're here! Traveler, Paimon, how have you been? Ugh, where to start? Paimon hasn't had a moment's rest this whole time. That night, we ended up chatting and chatting until suddenly, the sun was up. And then, he decided he wanted to go to Inazuma. The Balladeer? Hmm, this sounds like some kind of code name. <gasps> Even Nahida has forgotten. You look troubled. Is there something you need to tell me? Bruh. Traveler? Hey, what's wrong? You look so upset. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, so is he gonna- is he gonna talk- is he gonna tell her about Greater Lord Rukadavata and the Balladeer or just the Balladeer? Because I want him to tell them both. But then... We'll find out. Okay. There was once- blah blah blah... blah doo -doo -doo. Oh, he just, he's just talking about the Balladeer, bro. <sighs> That's quite a story. So, uh, this puppet known as the Balladeer erased himself from Ermin's soul, hoping that he could change the past. But how was he even able to do that? As the Traveler said, he very nearly became Sumeru's deity. Admittedly, I remember it a little differently. Mm. I don't recall finding anyone inside the machine after we defeated it. Nevertheless, it does make sense. If someone were to successfully erase themselves from Ermensoul, the world would change to reflect the new reality. So, you believe this person really existed, and we just don't- Yes. Theoretically speaking, it is possible to do this. But I'm struggling to imagine the kind of person who would dare go through with it. The Traveler comes from a world beyond to that. That's why there's no information about him in Ermensoul, and it also explains why any changes to Ermensoul mm -hmm, would mm -hmm. affect him. Because he's not from here. So mm. if there's anyone in the world capable of retaining memories from a past that has been rewritten, it's you. It's quite incredible when you think about it. Holy shit. But if that was the case, then what? Paimon's also technically not from there anyway. Like, I mean... That's the impression, considering the fact that everyone everyone so far in the storyline gets really confused when they see Paimon. They don't know really what she is. So that would that doesn't wouldn't that mean that she would not that she would still remember? Unless she's trolling and actually remembers everything. And that's the plot twist. I'm kidding. That's just that's just tying into the theories of the fact that she's the goddess that like sent them there in the first place. Um, anyways. Paimon's having a hard time understanding this Balladeer guy's motivations. Why did he do it? I can only make inferences based on the information we've been given. As for what kind of person he was. Only you remember that. Hmm. Nope, you can't tell in here to that. Something else worrying you? Something that you can't share? It couldn't change the fate of the ones who had died. Right? 
Once the balladeer realized he hadn't been betrayed after all, it must have completely changed his view of the people of Tatarasuna. Now he saw them as friends again. He couldn't keep hating humans after that. And if he thought there was a chance he could save his old friends, it would be hard not to try. His story makes sense. Every part of it. The balladeer tried to achieve godhood with the doctor's help. He was unsuccessful, but retained the power to connect with Ermansoul. That power then enabled him to change what was recorded in Ermin's soul and erase himself, even though he didn't have much strength left. Yeah, it does make sense, but... still ended in tragedy for his friends. It just feels so hopeless. He gave everything to do this, but... it seems like he got nothing in return. Hmm. I think that was the whole point of it. Like he didn't want he he wished himself to just not exist. I want to check something. Hmm. Found it. This should be the one. Oh. It turns out that I have a strange way of confirming everything he has told us. What is it? A record from a personal collection. It was tucked away in a corner. You should take a look. Oh, resembles a fairy tale. Is this a fairy tale? Who wrote it? As much as everything I, I said. This record myself. Huh? You wrote a fairy tale? That somehow has something to do with the balladeer? When combined with the Traveler's narrative, it's clear that this story is an allegory. Everything in it is a symbol for something else. Hold on. So this record survived from... the... past past? Yes. Any information about the balladeer or the Kabuki Mono and other wreck changing the information in Ermansoul changes that Ermansoul can't change information that was well hidden in advance. Hmm. Okay. And sending the traveler into Ermansoul with the this story is abstract enough that it still resonates with the present information recorded in Ermansoul. But if we connect all the different pieces together, the true story that emerges is the one he told us. The now erased life of the balladeer. <gasps> there was once a lone monster draped in fox fur. The monster found a family of foxes, joined them, and they became friends. The monster lived with the family day and night, and everyone treated it as one of their own. Once in a while, the monster would take off its fox fur at night and lament to itself as it gazed at its reflection in the water. I am a monstrosity, yet they are too foolish to see it. I pity them. But the monster soon found solace when another came to live among the foxes who was not their kin. A kitten, carved from the wood of a white tree who had been abandoned by the humans. The kitten, too, wished to become a fox, but its tail was too slender, and it could not grow a coat of richly colored fur. Yet when the other foxes saw this, they spoke words of comfort to the kitten. Even without a tail and fur like ours, you are still one of us. Furious at this happy resolution, the monster lit a fire on the mountain. The terrified animals panicked as the fire spread. Oh, the only nothing way awesome. to extinguish the flames was to make a sacrifice. A gray fox stood up and addressed the monster. It said, You are the cleverest among us. Surely you can help us find a way to solve this? The monster smiled, led the fox toward the fire, and murdered it. Oh, uh, well, she is. <laughs> 
was turned into a beautiful drop of water. Clear, spotless, and pure. The monster gave the heart of water to the kitten, telling him, The foxes have decided. You are the one who must be sacrificed. Take this, quench the flames, and die for your fox kin. The fire was extinguished, but the kitten lived. It left that side of the mountain and found a little bird who had a broken wing. The two promised they would spend their whole lives together, but the little bird did not have long left to live. It passed away soon after. After burying the bird, the kitten left the mountain for good. Never again would it cherish a single creature, nor a single blade of grass that stood on that mountain. The kitten spent the nights wandering aimlessly, gnashing its teeth at the moon. How it wished to swallow the moon and devour the moonlight. If the world could only return to darkness, then it would finally be peaceful and content. I will become the new moon, the answer to everything. Then, no one will know that there were once birds, foxes, and cats in this world. And no one can know that they were different. Bruh. <laughs> that was a pretty fucked up story. <laughs> not just the balladeer story it is his very own memories to become a god he was experimented on and modified countless times it was brutal torture and the only reason he was able to survive is that he was a puppet this memory was extracted from him by the scholars creating a deity was just the first step i buried it deep inside one of my own dreams and then hid it inside an allegorical story so that it wouldn't be altered. It's hard to believe that this person really existed, let alone that he tried to get rid of us on more than one occasion. Paimon has no memory of him at all. The balladeer agreed to help me look for information about the Descenders, and although he was unsuccessful, he still helped you. Before he vanished, he confirmed an important detail that Conria was where your twin first came into this world. We still don't know how the change to Ermin Soul will affect the senior ranks of the Fatuli, but in all likelihood, they won't even remember their own harbinger. It sounds like Paimon wouldn't like this guy a whole lot if he was still around, but still, Paimon doesn't like the way it all ended that much better. This is why wisdom alone cannot answer all our questions. So the answer is not everything. People yearn to find the truth and then conquer the troubles they face. When you give someone the truth, you give them a chance to choose their own destiny. To others looking on, this may seem like never forget that even when we walk beneath dark clouds along a road filled with suffering, the light of wisdom is always there, guiding us toward a better destination. And that is what you have been doing all along. Yeah, Mahid is right. Cheer up! How about we go get something to eat? We can pick up this heavy conversation again later. Good idea. Paimon. You got it! Come on, Trav! Hmm... Let's go get a snack for one of the stalls in the Grand Bazaar! That'll be sure to lift our spirits! It must be really tough being the only one who remembers all that. But Paimon's always here to help cheer you up. That was very messed up. But it was actually pretty interesting the way that they tucked the real story behind a fairy tale and then that revealed everything else about the balladeer again. I thought that was really interesting. Depressing as fuck, but very interesting.
should we eat first? Hmm. Hey, are you gonna answer or what? <laughs> She said that no one can erase themselves from existence, not even her. <gasps> she did say that. Holy shit. Wait. Why would she need to credit my room? Why'd you jump up all of a sudden? <sighs> well, yeah, that doesn't make any sense then, because then you have to explain everything about she said, and then if they're going to be like, how did you know that about that? And then you're going to be like, well, and then you're screwed. Excuse me, boss. There seems to be a small problem with the last bill. Look here. Um, child, anyways. Oh, <gasps> wait, they like, hold on. Is this when you're like, okay, so he made himself a different life and then became the Wanderer. Hold on. I've got no fucking clue what's happening right now. Hey! Hey, wait! Hmm? You mean me? No, not you. That kid! Look, if you're gonna help out here, you can't keep spacing out. Okay? I wasn't paying close enough attention. I think you're right. Maybe it's the city. It's so exciting. It can be hard to focus. Who's that guy? You know him or something? He's who? You're a strange one, kiddo. You say you don't want any money for helping out here, and then when I actually give you some work to do, you keep letting- I don't want to take advantage, so I'm happy to pay you what I pay anyone else. But if you keep acting like this, pretty soon I won't be able to afford to. No, no, please. I mean it. You're welcome, I guess. But I got bigger things well, to do. The personality about. change. Look, we're all out of sunsetias. And I promised the lady down the street I'd deliver a fruit bowl this evening. Oh my God. I'm trying to unblock Jack's message, but for some reason it's not even letting me. The, the hat cape is gone, thank the gods. No, for real though. Yeah. Okay, oh, there we go, there we go. Blah, blah. Oh, he's not an edge lord anymore. <laughs> That's what you meant. Then leave it to me. I'll find some more. Just stop. I'm gonna level with you, kiddo. I've never met a worker who said they didn't want a wage before. And at first, you don't want money. You don't take days off. And in your free time, all I see you do is wander. That's right. We can talk more about that later. First, let me get those fruits you needed. Hey. Oh my god, he is he's a very confusing character. Like, I know people have been saying that um, they've got their own, like, interpretations of what is supposed to be happening, but at the moment I'm very confused. I think what he's done is that he's just tried to change everything himself, but also it impacted his own memories or some shit. And then I think it's to do with... It's not the exact same way as the Raiden the Raiden Shogun, who's also like the whole like puppet thing. But then I don't know. It's very I don't really I really don't know how to put it into words. Like 
I don't know. Let's just let's continue. And maybe it'll like explain everything. Oh my god, I keep on doing that. Oh. Wait, am I going the wrong the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. Hold on. Oh my god, it's so much easier just to do this. Do do do. Ah, hello. I'm sure it's all written there comprehensively. True. Yeah, this'll do. Even though you say he's the balladeer, what are we planning on doing? Stealing his sunset here? Oh, all right. This should be enough. Hmm. Ah. I guess I should wash them before I take them back. This does not seem like him at all. It's so weird. You two over there. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> he spotted us! You've been following me all the way from the city. I'd have to be blind not to notice. Ah, <sighs> have we met before? Mm, no, we haven't met. But you know me? I have no recollection. Sure. Sorry, but I just can't take your word for it. A puppet? What makes you think that? Huh? <gasps> you were right! The look on his face! I guess you do know me after all. That is not something I share with a lot of people. Look, I'm just a wanderer. But seeing as you've gone through all this trouble to track me down... I'm sure whatever it is must be important. Okay, but please let me deliver these goods to my boss first. Are you really working for that guy? He said- Yes, I ran into him out in the wilderness during a storm. And he let me take sh- That's oddly nice of you. Let me take these back. Then I'll come with you, okay? Then let's return to the city. Hmm. Here you go, boss. I'll leave them right here. Oh, you really went and picked some more. Hmm. Who are these two? Something's come up, and they need to borrow me. <sighs> I was just about to pay you anyway. Go wherever you want. What? I get it, okay? You just wanted to help me out, to thank me for giving you shelter from the rain that day. But look, it was pouring down, and there you were, sauntering along without a care in the world, like you had nowhere to be and didn't even care that it was raining. <laughs> Imagine you were me for a second. It's a little weird, right? Why is this guy traveling during a rainstorm? Uh... But anyway, taking you in didn't put me out even slightly. But I don't... No, then I suppose this is where we say goodbye. Don't mention it, kiddo. Thank you. All right, done. Okay. Do 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 This is going to be interesting. What's wrong? Huh? Are you? Hello. I do apologize. We found this guy in the street, but he doesn't seem to remember anything. 
You say that you are trekking across to Vat to train yourself. Hmm. Many other Inazum. Well, it seems more relevant in my case. To me, it sounds like a plant with no roots. But these two claim that they know me. And that I. I wouldn't call it the past, but rather. Oh, this is a difficult one to explain. I'm listening. I don't like to rely on using terms like this often, but in your case, it seems that it ought to be called a previous incarnation. Oh, like a past life or something? Yes, something far more distant than the past. So far away. Okay, I have to ask. Um... <sighs> oh, okay. I see. You want to tell me, but you can't bring yourselves to say it. Looks like I didn't have the most wonderful existence in my previous incarnation. If it's that difficult to talk about, I have no doubt it will be, but I'll be able to handle it. Is truth something you care a lot about? Yes. Then I'll be straight with you. In your previous incarnation, you did many things that would be considered evil. You nearly died because of what other people did. And many died because of you. As a non-human being, you hated gods and humans alike. You drifted from place to place, never able to settle, even where you found status and identity. You adamantly believed that you were missing a heart. <sighs> Actions rooted in persistence sometimes bear bitter fruit. Sometimes, you have to let parts of yourself I gave everything I had, but it barely changed history at all. In terms of the outcome alone. Hmm. I don't think I can judge everything I've heard purely in terms of right and wrong. Each choice a person makes belongs to a specific place in time, a chain of cause and effect, a cycle of karma and consequence. That is the nature of truth. If one thing is right, its opposite must be wrong. And yet, dichotomies like this are not enough to explain the world and all of its complexity. It seems like my previous incarnation wasn't the most likable individual. <laughs> We're not trying to hurt your feelings or anything, but... Yeah, we weren't your biggest fans. If we were enemies, why are you trying to help me find the truth? Uh, this is so frustrating! Hmm, good question. Lesser Lord Kusanali, as the God of Wisdom. Yes, it's all true. Please, I want to see them for myself. Even though it will cause your present self great mental anguish? Oh, I'm just a puppet. With no... Very well. As you wish. Wait, shouldn't we go with him? Don't worry. Whatever danger I might face... Traveler, could I ask you to supervise him on my behalf? Oh, good point. Understood. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so if he never became the balladeer and was never ha was never a harbinger, then does then who took the inner zoomagnosis and is there a new harbinger in his place? Ooh, that's a good question actually. Holy shit. Because that, hmm. Honestly, I don't even, I don't think, I don't think Hoyo, Hoyoverse would have thought that far ahead to try and do that. But I mean, we never know. Right now, you're in a dream I created using information extracted from your memories. These memories will show you the raw truth. But sounds like an immersive experience. You don't need to do this for me. We never give up halfway. All right. Wanderer, this is the Shake Pavilion. In your Balladeer incarnation, this is where the Electro Archon placed you after your creation. Is that because this is... You could... I hear for this place is huge. I can't believe the landslide didn't fill it in. I wonder... No, there's no way. Hmm? There's someone past... <sighs> Who are you? Y y you're awake. What? Huh? 
Not a script. This man is Katsuragi, deputy to Torichiyo's adopted son, Bikoshi Nagamasa. He found the balladeer in Shake Pavilion and took him back to Tatarasuna. For real? Like, it all... Okay, Genshin, I don't know. They they made it slightly understandable, but not to the point where it was like... I don't know. Like, it's it was explained in a way where you can... Well, this is just how I see it. I understood it, but I'm not able to repeat it. Like, I'm not able to try and make your own interpretation about it. And then when you try to make your own interpretation about the information, it just makes it all worse. Because <laughs> then you go off other different directions of everything and then just all becomes like a what the fuck moment. And the rest is history. Well, it used to be. In the original version of events, Katsuragi was- Let me get you out of here. Our people are nearby. During the Tatarasuna incident, Niwa was murdered by the doctor, disguised as a mechanic. As the second in command at Tatarasuna, responsibility for what had happened Don't fuck the time tree. Nagamasa. But Katsuragi had sworn lifelong loyalty to Nagamasa after the latter had once saved his life. <sighs> Katsuragi seems like he was a good guy. He looks like a warrior, but he has a kind face. Why couldn't he live a long and happy life? Nagamasa, I found this young guy in a cave sealed off by a landslide. He doesn't remember his name. Well, we need to call you something. I hear the workers are calling you the Kabuki Mono. <sighs> that's fine with me. <gasps> oh, that's what they called him. Okay. Tell him we have someone new joining us. Hmm. Um, the hell? Dyslexia? Wait... How am I supposed to enter this? Ow. Take back what I mean about um, writing this. It's been two hours and no one's looked into the camera. Um, Bits no slow-mo and no plot shattering quadruples backstab. Valid. I mean, oh, I'm literally very intelligent. Okay. Gather. Hello? Huh? What are we doing back here? Whoa, this is where you were born? It's pretty, but there's nobody here. <coughs> I was abandoned, like you. Okay, I heard my mom and dad used to make swords, but the factory manager died, and then my dad got sick. He kept coughing all the time, just like me. Then mom started coughing too. <gasps> but you can't. You promised me. Yup, we're family now. We're gonna be together forever and ever. This child didn't have a name. Or rather, the balladeer didn't know what to call him. His father died before he could name him. After his mother died, the child stayed in their straw hut alone. Some of the neighbors helped to raise him. After leaving Tatarasuna, 
The Balladeer ran into this child who didn't have a name, just like him. What happened to the child then? He died from his illness while he was still very young. The Balladeer came home one day and found that he had stopped breathing. Bro. Hey! What's wrong? Say something! You promised me we could be family! You're no different from Niwa and all the others. You betrayed me too. <laughs> the voices have gone. Let's keep going. Bro, that was so fucked. <laughs> Like I feel like the wanderer is just the definition of therapy. This just just needs therapy. Thank you. Or perhaps an exorc exorcism. You do realize you're blocking my path. I come not to obstruct you. I've been waiting. What you are truly is a weapon. One that can be wielded with an iron will. Or you can continue to drift aimlessly. Are you trying to win me over? The long fated rebellion has begun. Why not take your place at the banquet and join those who shall be Oh my god, Zhongli, can you crit for me, please? That'd be great. That was probably very painful to watch. Holy shit. No excuse for You can't run. Rest and rebuild. Into the wind. This is order. Gather. Long time. The birds come. The wind knows me. We are so fucking bruh. I have to kill him first. He keeps on killing. No solidify. I will have order. But my Zhang Li does not want to crit. <sighs> Pain. Adorn my knights. Into the wind. Finally, okay, it's a little bit better. We can do better. Yeah. 
finally. Oh, it's really very painful to watch, honestly. I need to build my characters a bit better. This place is dark. Uh, Hyman knows this place. It's the in the original version of events. The traveler once mm -hmm. encountered the balladeer here. I remember this bit. I remember that little like snippet thing where we actually that was the first encounter with him. Such a creepy atmosphere. And so familiar. Well, well, my fair lady. Is this rundown factory and these incompetent fools all for me? <gasps> wow. Signora. Huh. What do you have to gain? You dead, girl. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Perhaps you find fighting in the abyss to be a more meaningful use of your time. I'm kidding. I know it's like fake. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> what a sharp tongue you have. Funny how negotiating never seems to be your strong suit. For the task ahead, I suggest you keep your true feelings to yourself. Oh my god, it's the hat guy. He's back. I'm kidding. <laughs> He's back in spirit. Save your breath. I'm sure you think so, but I still think you need to hear it. Don't start thinking you're invincible. Surely you're not worried about me. I just can't have you getting in my way. You and child never fail to find ways to complicate things. I'm merely lighting a little fire in this chaotic nation. But you, being tossed out like trash, must make you want to destroy it completely. Do you remember the last time you were here? That was a lot of swordsmiths you killed. I'm sure the descendants of the ride in Gokaden are still suffering the consequences now. Look at you. Oh, don't get so sentimental. Now, give that poor- Bye then. See you at the victory feast. Um, anyways. Poor little tongue? <laughs> Forget it. <sighs> the plot does not end here. There is more of this story- Yes. Why are you staring at me in silence? Hello. Can't you think of a nicer way to express yourself? I'm under no obligation to be nice to you. Besides, I thought well, nothing mattered to you except results in your own interests. Isn't that right, witch? <laughs> Muddle-headed puppet. You're only number six because you can take more abuse than other humans. Do you really count that as an asset? You're about as much fun to be around as a raging inferno. But before we murder each other, it'd be best if we finish our duties. Stabilize. Uh, how did, did that damage not even apply to her, bruh? She just tried to like trap me in the corner though. Fighting angle, just fighting in the corner. This body belongs to ice. Let me amuse myself. Gather. One with nature. Dumpy dumpy come. As one with wind and cloud. Into the wind. Order 
Anyways. This is my problem with combat in Genshin. This enemy is a heavy hitter. I should take him out first. Um, oh, that one's a healer, so I have to kill him first. Oh, but the healer is unreasonably tanky, and now I'm taking massive damage from the heavy hitter. I know, I can't because my game wrangle. Because I was. <laughs> you basically just summed up combat in Genshin. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, you literally just did that. Um, but it, I do need to build my characters a bit better. Like, I'm... It's... Bro. But the problem with these type of games is that it takes so long. Like, literally, it would t it took Kai so long to even try and get any, like, of their artifacts because, like... I carry memories of my home. Bro, it's just, you have to grind Genshin and if you actually want, like, really good artifacts, like, you have to touch no grass. Oh. Looks like we've arrived in Sumeru. Uh... Is that? Considering that Amorta's sage, Nafis, refused to join this project, I'll take part in the experiment in his place. Welcome. I <gasps> the doctor? To a fruitful collaboration. <sighs> when do we start? You seem impatient. You should know that becoming a god is far from a trivial affair. The biological transformation is a lengthy process. Nothing worse than what I've been through before then, Doctor. You were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. Thanks to you, I was able to garner a great deal of information. Alas, after that, you were under orders to remain in the abyss. That was gracefully worded. Ever wonder what they think if they knew that nothing matters to you, apart from your crazy experiments? I suggest you speak to me in a more respectful tone, Scaramouche. The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. The doctor again? Oh, that was uncomfortable to watch. Yeah. <laughs> that person gives off a very sinister energy. It's normal for him to give you the creeps. <sighs> Let's move on. <laughs> Hmm. Time to go. You're a god. Do you think I'm evil? If you accept that he is you, just as you are you, then yes. In your eyes? Are there any differences between humans and puppets? Do you think there are any differences between your present self and your previous and future incarnations? If not, then what are the differences between humans and puppets? Whoever has tasted the joys and sorrows of life in the human realm is human. Whoever has loved and lost, cried with grief, howled with rage at the tragedy of death that eclipses the miracle of life, they are human too. <sighs> I've seen enough of my past. If possible, I'd like to reclaim the sins that are mine to bear. No matter the consequences, I won't run from blame or punishment. Whatever I am due, let it come to pass. Can you return my memories to me? Huh? But won't that mean- I've always believed that human lives follow a set of rules. With As a puppet living in a human world, my life is subject to the same rules. 
Regaining your memories means reverting completely to your previous incarnation. All the emotions that you discarded will return to you. Are you sure you- I've lived with a void in my chest my whole life. My creator didn't need me. And never- But then I met you. And I finally realized that reclaiming my missing sins might be my one opportunity to become my true self. I've always felt I have an innate tendency to yearn for something more, in a way that goes deeper than for most people. But for all my soul searching as a Shugenja, I've never fully understood it. Looking at it now, it seems that I brought this curse upon myself. He better not get the hat cape back. No, for real though, like if that thing comes back, I'm burning it. So I beg you, grant me this opportunity to gain a purpose, to change my destiny, and end my wandering. Very well. Since your mind is made up, I will return to you that which is yours. <gasps> you have made your decision. Now, take this. Set him free. A puppet? What's he doing here? It's... You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. This is... my... Slay. Oh, here we go. Die. <gasps> yes. <This is gasps> oh my god, I get to play him. Significant past. Squall Fury. At my command, you shall fall. Slay every day, slay every day. Feeble human, unsightly insects. Squalid fury. Ah! 
My endless cycle begins. Wee. Nothing worth mentioning. Wee. Um, don't mind me. Just feeding my character. <laughs> um, anyways. Snacky time. Oh. I'm not a pest. Imbecile, get out of my sight. Oh, <laughs> disappeared. Did we win? What did you expect? I'd never lose to that. <sighs> There's that tone of voice again. You're definitely back to your old self. Wait. That thing too. What have you got to be smug about? Sorry, I'm harsh on myself and everyone else. Just the way I am. <laughs> you sound like you're concerned about me, but don't worry. Thanks to you, even if I didn't change a thing, at least I now know the truth. The memory recovery seems to have been a success. Come on, let's continue this outside. Slay. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> Welcome back, Traveler, Paimon, Balladeer. <sighs> it feels like we just went on a really long journey. <sighs> you don't like being addressed by that name? It's fine. But I was just thinking... I should pr After learning about everything the doctor did, I'm not planning on returning to the Fatui. So, you're quitting the Fatui for good? <sighs> it's like you said, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Everything may look futile, but it wasn't completely meaningless. At least I made a lot of people forget about me. But that doesn't mean your own past has disappeared. Of course. And your main goal, for which you gave up everything you had, you weren't able to achieve it. I hope you can see and understand that. Changing the world, what you are looking for is complete annihilation. But this is just a fantasy. Even if the Balladeer is removed from existence, the world will not heed your will. Indeed. <laughs> How ridiculous. Do you regret doing all that when you've gotten so little in return? Even if I'm completely worthless? There's nothing in the world worth regretting. Lesser Lord Kusanali, you purposely left that information in Nermansol, didn't you? Yes, and I took pains to make sure that you'd acquire that information naturally. Why would you go to such lengths? You trying to win me over too? In all honesty, your past experiences have made you a useful asset to Sumeru and to me. Winning you over was indeed a <laughs> fucking <day>. cape. <laughs> I know it was back. But before that, I wanted to tell you. It was back for two seconds. Past. If all I wanted to do was use you, then I'd be no different from the doctor. Very clever. I guess you could oh say God. that's one of my virtues. Utility to others is what gives me worth. So if embracing my sins is what it takes to make me useful again, so be it. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Sorry if I have a slightly different perspective on things, but I don't feel like I've been duped. The wisest leaders are fated to end up with the best helpers. I can live with that. I'm glad you're able to think of it in that way. Traveler, in the future, I'll continue to search Ermin, including the beginning of your twin's journey recorded in Ermin's soul. 
What exactly happens before and after that point? I want to know as well. I will try. Traveler. Mm -hmm. After I dove into the information torrent in Ermansoul, why did you go to Inazuma? So that's how you found out whose fate had changed. Well, whatever your reasons, you did me a favor. And I'll do everything I can to pay it back. Borrowing and returning are the only real relationships between individuals. I'll balance the books one day. That's not true. A relationship between two people is not simply a ledger that can be reset to zero. I think deep down you realize this. People who show up in your life don't just evaporate like water drops and leave nothing behind. There is no such thing as balancing the books. I feel like um, you would just want to go, like, just find out whoever, wh like, whoever aided in designing the cape. You just want to literally just move them aside and fix it yourself. <laughs> you should be like, nope, you're fired. Bye. And then just do it yourself. I mean, what other design would you just do? Like, I think just not the cape. I would just keep it as the hat. Although maybe they did try that and it just didn't l seem correct or something. Maybe this, it didn't look right. I have no idea. Maybe they had, maybe they tried different things and then just didn't work. Some things in this world can never be brought back and they can never be changed, which is why there is emotion in the human world. Everything that you feel is real and lasting. And whatever is missing in you will not be made whole. To be human is to live with imperfections. You can choose whether or not you want to be human. Actually, I really like that line. Holy shit. That's so good. But humans can't live without a heart, can they? You understand what pain is perfectly well, even without a heart. You're just bearing your feelings. I can now understand why he was given a different element. How they how it, they made him animo. Like I think I I get why they made him animo. The past is set in stone, but you can keep moving on. And the longer your future lasts, the shorter your past will become. Until one day, it is but a tiny fraction of your life. Like, I mean, unless it's, like, randomized, but I thought that was the idea that it was drawn from the specific, like, the person's ideologies, like, what they have, or something like that, was correlated between what type of, what element they got. Like, what their vision was. But then, I don't know, maybe that, maybe that's wrong. It sounds like you've got a future planned out for me. Everything's ended up being pretty darn complicated. Paimon literally just described exactly how I was feeling. She's like, yep, everything's compli complicated. I don't even know where to start. Move on. <laughs> then I guess I'll be helping you from behind the scenes from now on. It's lame. I'm glad that you've accepted our proposal. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Paimon wants to pick an ugly nickname for you, too! <laughs> Why? Because... Because... <laughs> then I hope... A name is life's first gift. <sighs> the Traveler and Paimon have helped you a lot. If you can't decide on a... No! Paimon only does nicknames! If it's a serious name you're after, it's all yours. Hmm. Have you got anything? Oh my god, name change. Oh my god. So you can- hold on. It's a limit of number of times you can rename this character, so do so with care. Oh my god. Wait. What should we call him? <laughs> can we name him Mittens? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You wanna name him Mittens? I thought you were gonna do something to do with his cape. Like just do like do something to do with his cape. Like be like I don't know, burn the cape. That's just be that that'll just be his name. His name is just burn the cape. 
Although he doesn't have the cape, so it wouldn't work. But then I don't know. Jack, do you have no Jack? Do you have any any ideas at all? <laughs> Just the cutest, cutest name possible. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So you can only change it a few times. So if I don't like it, then I can always change it. Maybe I should. I'm just gonna. We should just call him Mittens. Let's do it. <laughs> Mittens. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so cursed because every time he's just gonna be in the conversation I'll be like um anyway <laughs> oh my I'm actually curious to see what other people would have like would have named him like there's gonna be so many stupid ones um go mitten <laughs> strike down my foes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's perfect. And we continue. Are you sure? Wait, how do you change his name though? Like if you have to change his name, like how would you even do it? I don't even know. Wait. Hold on. Okay, so apparently, okay, wait, wait, well, we're gonna call him Mittens, let's go. Oh, alright, if you say so. Mittens! There, now you have a name of your own. What about a nickname? <laughs> Are you done yet? <laughs> I can't take this seriously. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Like, I could just imagine people, like, being like, oh, um, what? So, like, hmm, yes, my favorite character, Mittens. Like, hmm, who do you main in Genshin? Oh, Mittens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, I... Take your time. I don't need to see you again until you've thought of one. Everyone who manipulated me and made me suffer will have to pay the price. You mean the Fitui? The doctor, at least. Now that your stance has changed, I believe your future path will change accordingly. But it won't be immediate. You still need some time to compose yourself. My god. One more thing. There are still some descendants of the Raiden Gokuden living in Inazuma. Some of them know. Well, I can't take him seriously anymore. <laughs> Everything he says, I'm just like, mm, okay, okay, mittens, okay. Because <laughs> it just says mitten. <laughs> oh, my humor's broken. Anyways. I don't plan to leave Sumeru for the time being. If you see them in Inazuma, Please tell them that I was the one responsible for the Raiden Gokuden's downfall. Even though the events have been erased from the world, they still deserve to know the truth. I see. Huh? But- It's fine. Let them stab their blades into my chest if they so desire. Bruh. What's that look for? That day will come. Alright, goodbye wise deity. And you too. He's gone! What he went through today would have been like living an entire lifetime in an instant. Yeah, true. But even so, after everything that's happened, he doesn't seem quite as fierce anymore. So we can finally go eat? Thank you both. <laughs> I knew she was going to say that. Let's go. Oh. Um, anyways. I've got it! I can end my novel with some words from Mikoshi Nagamasa. 
I didn't think it would actually let us. I thought it was an illusion of choice type thing. <laughs> and nope, it just casually let you change the name of a character. <laughs> you mean because everyone else in the story is dead? Yeah, I heard that Mikoshi Nagamasa died at a ripe old age. He's the per The dark clouds had dissipated, but they continue to cast their shadow in Mikoshi Nagamasa's mind. I also didn't realize how long this quest was. Like, I've been streaming for, um, three, three hours and 12 minutes. Then, one night, as an old man, he had a dream. On the night when that prized blade, the Daitatara Nagamasa, was forged, the people rejoiced, and there was painting, dancing, and drinking. All these expressions of joy melted down in the furnace fire and turned into red clouds that rallied around the final sunrise that Mikoshi Nagamasa saw in his lifetime. Life is a story too long to be told, a journey that you must walk to behold. <laughs> oh, his mitten's grumpy. Don't be grumpy, mittens. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours to name the Wanderer Mittens. <laughs> it's perfect. Honestly, time well spent. Well, anyways, we've got to go down here. Do 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 Oh, anyways. <sighs> it's about time we had a break. As soon as you stop, all the tiredness and hunger comes rushing back. Wow, huh? Look at that vase. <gasps> oh, wait, I forgot that. Oh, I forgot that Paimon broke that. Did Break it while they were cleaning the room or something? <laughs> oh. And break the boss. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Why is the vest? Sound lost <gasps> and confused. Um, chow. I know why you are troubled. Any who knew of this would find their mind overwhelmed. Huh? Is there someone here talking to us? Unfortunately, the fate of Tevat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance. But for anyone else... <sighs> who can say? When a small animal runs into a tree trunk, though the tree may sway, it is not displaced. The same is true of fate. Hmm. Like a vase that falls to the ground. Whether it is broken by a cat or by a bird, the result is still a broken vase, is it not? Uh, who are you? How do you know about all this? History does not change easily, but human hearts can. Believe your own eyes. Only that which you see is true. What is unseen is but an illusion. The voices mm. disappeared. And who that was interesting. That? And what were they doing coming out of nowhere and saying all that scary stuff? Ugh. Anyway, that face is still lying. It feels wrong just leaving it there. Hmm. Well, that was very long and required a lot of critical thinking. Like, holy shit. That was good. I enjoyed that. Um, and I'm guessing I'm pretty sure that that voice would have had to have been either the 
Archon, the Hydro Icon, the one who's in Fontaine, or perhaps the other Fatui Harbinger, like the other, I forget her name, but she's one of them. And I, yeah, I literally forget her name, but I'm pretty sure it was her. Um, so yeah, do I, wait, do I have, um, I don't have enough paper, premium gems to do that. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, I think, yeah, that, that cut it off there. Okay. I have to wait until the next update before I can do anything. I have to wait till Fontaine gets released. So that's interesting. Holy shit. Um, well, I'm going to end the stream here. Um, but holy shit, that was, that was good. Like, that was good. Did anyone um have any thoughts on that at all, or was it just like um no no thoughts? Because honestly, I don't like I have thoughts, but I really don't know how to put them into words at the moment. If that was the Fontaine Archon, I might have I might have to start playing Genshin because damn that point, a <laughs> true. True. I had a feeling someone was going to say that. Um, no thoughts, head empty. Mood. Very much mood. Um, but yeah, so that was interesting. And I, and I told myself this was going to be both Genshin and Valorant. No, no. Um, 